Hello and welcome everybody. Today we'd like to talk about remote browser isolation feature offered by Cisco Umbrella. Remote browser isolation protects identities from potential malware and other threats by redirecting browsing to a cloud-based host. A remote browser is delivered to the users. It is hosted on a physically isolated server built to handle cyber risks. This means there is an air gap between the network and any online threats. RBI doesn't require any additional clients or software to be installed. Users are able to view necessary information displayed on the web page, while the solution isolates any malicious code. So now let's see what you need to do to enable remote browser isolation in your dashboard. You will need to create a new rule, give it a name, choose the rule action isolate, apply identities, which can be AD groups, AD users, network tunnels, networks, as well as roaming computers. Choose the categories which you want to enable for categories and destinations that you want to enable for isolation. They can be applications, content categories, or destination lists. You also can set isolation for any destination. When you save it, it should be applied to all of the identities that you choose to apply it to. So now let's see how it works in action. So right here, if you open the browser, which we enable isolation for, and go to something like cnn.com, we can see that the web page is isolated. We also can check something like match.com, which is a dating website, and it's supposed to be isolated as well. You can see here that this page is isolated. However, if we go to a malicious website, which we set specifically for demonstration purposes, it is not categorized we can see that the isolation isn't happening. If we go to our malicious web page, which contains an exploit, we can see that exploit was successful and something which was initiated within the browser was able to get access to our computer and launch calculator in this example. However, malicious actors usually will launch either a shell or some kind of remote access software. Now we want to enable isolation for the remote destinations which we previously were not isolating, such as this uncategorized website. Go to our rule and edit it. And in the destination, now we're going to choose uncategorized to be protected from that exploit that I just showed you. We save the policy. And now let's see how it works. Let's check if it's still isolating news portals. Indeed, the isolation still works. And now let's go to our malicious website, which now has to be isolated. And as we can see, it's isolated. So now if we go to the malicious web page, which contained exploit, we can see that nothing happens. Calculator is not popped because this page is isolated and we're being protected.